check. Here we go. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Brad Modrich. Uh, I want to send this message out. I don't think uh, my point got across in the post. I know I pointed to the shirt and said, uh, this is what we need more of, being real. And I got a bunch of DMs, and my I got some boys shooting me some text about, yo, they love the shirt, whatever. It's Roots of Fight. That's where I got the shirt from. Um, check them out at Roots of Fight. They got great products. I like all their Mike Tyson shit. But anyway, this ain't an ad. Here we go. I'm talking about being real. Um, right now in society, we live in a digital age. And in a digital age, things can get kind of broken down and maybe diluted a little bit and the authenticity and being real. So this is what stem. I'm, I'm just speaking from the heart and I'm shooting for the hip. First off, I got to say what's up to my girl, uh, my wife, my beautiful wife, Jan Costa, and my two great kids. This is at the forefront of everything that I'm doing. I am doing for those three people, obviously, to be a leader in my community. And uh, I want to help people that really just got to get their shit together. Um, just give you a little quick bio. I'm going to do this on, on every, every time I do a video or I'm going to do a post or a YouTube clip. Um, knucklehead kid from the east side of Allentown, grew up, broke his shit, went to Catholic school, mom, you know, all kinds of drama, right over the river, cry me woods, went to the Marine Corps, fucked that up, um, got out of that, uh, moved down to Florida, thought I was Scarface, and, uh, probably one of the best, the second best thing, third best thing that ever happened to me, um, one, my daughter, my kids are my first best thing, second, my wife, and third is, uh, getting locked up, I was incarcerated, and, uh, yeah, I was fucked up in the game and, uh, did four years. Um, and it was just, uh, it was life changing. So coming from where I come from, I want to help people that are going through some type of shit, um, helping empowering women. Like there's, there's some bullet points to what we're doing. And most importantly, I want to show these millennials. Um, let me phrase that. I want to work with these millennials and I want to be able to give them something that is going to help them grow, help them become better. That's my purpose. Um, I, I was listening to a, a Les Brown clip this morning, and he talked about, uh, if any of you that haven't ever heard Les Brown, Les Brown, great, great presenter, um, great speaker. And um, make a long story short, he was talking about, you know, what happens when he dies. What are people going to say? What are the... The, the things he left behind in terms of like your persona. Um, and it was, you know, did you not do this or did you not do that? Do you have regrets? And I made a, I made it clear. I made a commitment to myself that uh, today's going to be the first day that we put out a video because I'm here to lead for you guys. And I'm not perfect far fucking from it. But if I can help someone get through some shit that I've been through, um, from money problems to picking pennies up in fucking McDonald's parking lot to incarceration to a drug problem, um, I'm here. Um, and then most, you know, obviously, uh, working with empowering women and helping them uh, and take take kind of control of their life and not to be dependent on anyone. Um, so let's talk about being real. Stop the fuckboy shit. Um, seriously. Guys, girls out there, I see it day in and day out. Just people without a true, I just a, a backbone, so to speak. Like, there's always what's in it for me. And I don't know. I, I work with people every day, and especially in, in the business that I'm in. I'm in the health club industry. Um, I hear people constantly talking about I'm a people person. And I love people, and you, you, your Instagram and your social media just kind of says something that's completely not real. And I think one of the things that, first off, everyone has to come to grips with is the imperfections in your life. Um, fuck. Stop acting so phony. Be genuine. Um, there, there, there's something that's being diluted in the personal connection because everybody believes what they see on this fucking four by five little box, right? Just crazy. This right here, it just completely dilutes the human touch. Because you're always trying to impress and you always want to see. 
and you see what to see what this one's doing and that one's doing. But again, you're sacrificing. Listen, I love social media. I, my message wouldn't be getting out because of social media. But there's a time for social media, and then there's a time where you need personal interaction. Okay? When you're talking to someone, keep it real. Don't tell people what you think they want to hear. Don't try to do things to impress people. Do the fucking right thing. And do the right thing because it's the fucking right thing to do. Like, that's why. For that simple one thing. That's all you got to do it for. And, you know, the honesty, the respect. And if you're truly coming from a place that's fucking in here, you're not going to have to fucking worry about people liking you and people following you and, you know, people, you know, listening to you. And then you're not going to have to give a fuck what people think because they don't mean nothing. Right? They don't. Like... I had a conversation with one of my, my, my young my young guys about, you know, the circle that he was surrounding himself. And he's 23. And I remember when I was 23, my whole little Florida crew, that there's like maybe two or three people that I still talk to out of 50, 60, 70. Like this, this whole scene. They're gone tomorrow. Like be in touch with the people who are in your life, your family, Right? The people who mean something. The people who are helping you grow. And if your family and the ones that are close aren't helping you grow, cut that out. You got you to gotta surround yourself with winners. Okay? Um, I don't know where I was going with this. I just know that I had to get on the mic. I had to share something with you guys. And um, again, I got nothing but love for, for people who just keep it real. Um, yeah, man. Just This is for the real ones. Like, I appreciate you. You know, men and women, you know, that just fucking keep it real. Stop that phony fake shit. No one likes it. No, Stop trying to impress people. Right? Just be real. Because when that, that real, genuine you comes out, that's so much more attractive. That's the reality of it. Brad Modrich, keeping it real. Right here. This is the message for today. Be real. Be real. Don't be fake. Don't be bougie. Don't stop trying to impress people. Hopefully, this message either struck a nerve, got an emotion, did something. And if you know that that's you, stop it. No one likes it. Okay? Again, thank you for everyone who has supported me so far. This shit's about to get live. It's going to get fun. We're going to start coming up with some really fun topics. Um, and we're just, yeah, and listen, I'm in my basement, nothing pretty about this shit. You know, I put up a, a, a backdrop, got some lights, it's my cell phone camera, I got a big camera right there, so that one's still running good, but um, we're gonna put some shit together, it's gonna be fun. Thank you everybody, one love, peace.